So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at your Intrepid Inquiry set, which is part of the Intrepid uh, set for all of the classes now if you guys haven't seen it we've already done the review video and the shady video they're both right here and we've also done the titan and hunter video they're both right here as well so yeah i definitely would recommend you guys to watch this especially if you want to see how it looks with shaders and you can definitely check out the shader video but if you want to hear my thoughts about the armor you definitely should check out the review video we do showcase four shaders so it's not like i don't show you how it looks with shaders but that one I go more in depth about how the armor actually looks and that's probably one of the more better reviews that I have because I don't have a lot of negative things to say about that armor compared to like Siege Breaker which that one got smoke everyone got the smoke for that one but if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit but other than that let's get into it so to start off, this is going to be the weakest one from the whole video. I'm going to be honest with you guys, and I'm using two of the weakest pieces, which is going to be the Intrepid Hood and the Intrepid Bond. I am not the biggest fan of these two pieces, which is why I'm using it in, in one video or in one set, because I just did not want to waste my time with both of these. So for the arms contender gloves with the inspector robes is what we're using and then the transversive steps for the exotics so overall my whole plan with this was just to make sure i had some browns in there so that way that didn't uh overlap or not overlap but didn't go against the helmet because the helmet that bronze brown color does not change color but i also wanted some blue in there because obviously the bond has blue and it doesn't change color as well which is why i ended up using transversive steps overall i'm actually not like mad about this one it's definitely the weakest one from this video granted but it's not like the worst one like this is still like a pretty decent set that i've made for transversive steps that being said it's definitely a set that i've made for the ch with the chest piece as well so i've had other pieces like this but this isn't the worst one is what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm not offended by this one. This one is actually like, I can definitely use this one. I definitely have better transversive steps or like sets for this one, especially with the ornaments, but it's not the worst in the world. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, this one is going to be weird. I promise you, but for the helmet, elect of the empty hood for the arms, obviously the intrepid gloves for the chest piece, sunlit robes for the secant filaments exotic and then for the bond scaldic chant bond so for the shadering this is where it gets a little weird because it's we're going to be using grand luster for everything but the arms for the bond for the arms we're going to be using callus selected and i specifically did that because the grand luster specifically the arms just take shaders really terribly so i decided to just switch out that shader so that way i can have some seamless of, of like the same color for the arms i know some people have been telling me that i should use different shaders uh quite frankly i don't really care about that so it's not one of the rules that i follow and i will make a video explaining the rules that i have because i do have some some rules that i do follow but the different shader ones i don't use just because a i really think honestly it's it's the equivalent of like smelling your own farts type of thing for me like and I really should explain this further in another video, but I'll just ex briefly explain it. It's, I feel like people who do it usually have that air of like, I'm better than you vibe. And that's where I'm like, dog, like I already follow so many rules that I don't really care about the shader one, quite frankly, especially when most of the time it doesn't look really cool or they're just combining blacks. So that way they can be like, oh yeah, I'm using different shaders, even though you're just using one color, which is black. So yeah, I, I don't follow that rule. I don't know why I brought it. Well, I brought it up because I'm using one different color from this whole set, but it's specifically for like a reason. So yeah, tangent aside, I do like this one quite a bit. It's just unfortunate that the arms is not the same gold as everything else. So I honestly would not even use these arms for this set, but overall, I do think it looks pretty interesting and I definitely like where my head's going. I probably would just switch out the sunlight robes for something else. I think that would have been a better choice. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, this one is definitely dope. For the shader, Iron Bone, love this shader. For the helmet, TM Moss Custom Hat. For the hat, Aaron Swagger ornament that we're gonna be using for the Gateway Artist. And then Hold Fast Boots and then the Ossuary Bond. So I, I think I've made this set before aside from the arms. I think the arms I used something else. But for this one, I ended up like kind of making a headcanon that my warlock was like an archaeologist type of thing. And I genuinely do like this set a lot. It's it's a set that I've used a lot. And overall, I do think this one's really, really cool. Let me know what you guys think about it. I genuinely 
do think this might be the best one, but let's check out the last one real quick. And as for the last one, we're going to be using Sanguine Alchemy for this one. And this is not a set that I should surprise anyone. I've done this one before uh, with a few differences here and there, specifically the arms I think are a little bit different. But for the helmet, we're going to be using the Blood Lineage cover with the Blood Lineage bond. For the arms, Hardened Basilisk wraps. And then for the boots, obviously the Intrepid Inquiry boots. So the reason why I like this one so much is because A, we're using a Sanguine Alchemy, we're using the Sanguine Alchemy exotic. But it goes really well with the blood lineage stuff because obviously it's more vampiric and sanguine alchemy just gives off more of a vampiric vibe considering there's a whole ass blood like ball in the back of your neck or in the back in your back more specifically. And the only problem that I have with this exotic is the fact that it shaders really fucking terribly. And the only reason I'm using Dreaming Spectrum is because it shaders terribly. So yeah, the, the main piece just takes colors really really terribly but i really like this set a lot uh specifically just because i think the arms go really well with the boot or the chest piece because the arms have that little pointiness to it which goes well with the shoulder pads honestly the biggest thing i could do would probably just be switching out the boots because i don't think the boots are really good for this that being said i think they are really good it's just i would want something that has a little bit more point to it if that were possible for the boots but overall i do think this one's really good probably not as not better than the third one but it's definitely like up there with it it's definitely these two that are really really good so warlocks let me know what you guys think i definitely like a lot of these sets i don't actually after this video i'm pretty much done with the armor sets on it for a little bit probably like a week or not even a week maybe a little less than a week because after this video is done i will most likely be buying not only buying the dnd armor set but start doing the review video the shaders and then trying to make some sets with it so i do have content planned for y'all don't worry i have a lot of content planned for y'all actually so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later